Good morning, DP. I'm Lucas Kinder with your morning announcements. This weekend, our cross-country team traveled to the Morro Bay Invitational, and the boys were led by Colin Goley, Dominic Corral, Oliver Salea, Andy Brennan, and Finn Wright. In the girls' race, they were led by Vienza Machuca, Eloise Shea, Sophie Salea, Kate Bishop, and Quinn Gleason. The boys took fourth place, and the girls took sixth. Way to go, cross-country. The library is now open for tutoring during seminar. In order to attend the tutoring, you must get a golden ticket. In order to get a golden ticket, you must sign up online before 8 p.m. the day before your tutoring. Then you must go to your assigned seminar teacher to check in for attendance and pick up your golden ticket. Now, here's 9-11 tribute. Um, I remember I was with uh, my best friend, um, on the way down to go do a study session um, before going to City College. We were taking a biology course together um, and we were gonna go, we had a test um, coming up and we were going to go study at a coffee shop um, and we were driving to the coffee shop and um, on the news um, they were saying a train, uh, a plane had hit the Trade Center um, and we were, we were kind of like, whoa, we, what? Like, it's so weird, it's so strange. And then it came out that another one had hit. And this, this is kind of where my memory gets muddled, but I remember I was at City College that day, all day. Um, and all we did in our classes, like it would probably happen, I'm sure happened in the high school, is we watched the news and everybody was just in shock. Um, nobody was talking, uh, nobody was interacting, it was just, Nobody knew, knew what to do. Um, everybody was just kind of in shock, and that went on for days. It was this this sense of of unreality. Um, I think the U.S. felt we had felt invincible, and then we weren't. <laughs> we weren't. Um, I don't know. It, it's it obviously it's still emotional for me. This long later, when I think back to it, I think it's one of those moments in history when you're there and you're a part of it. You you just it's always like a piece of you, um, that emotion that you felt that day. I was just waking up, getting ready to go to work. Uh, I was teaching at La Colina. At the time, I had a, I lived alone, I had a TV in my room, and I'd always turn it on and watch the news in the morning. And um, Actually, my mom called, because my brother's a pilot for Delta, and he was in Boston at the time, which where one of the flights left from, and she, I didn't know what was going on, I woke up. And she was, she just said, Michael's fine, Michael's not on a plane, and then I turned on the news and just saw um, the towers, and, or first tower, and yeah, just it was, uh, so I was just waking up, because it was like six in the morning here, I think, or something. Um, it was the initial seeing like the, the, rem or the first plane had already gone, hit when I saw it, and then when the second one, and then hearing about um, like the plane down in Pennsylvania, got, in the moment it felt like very confusing, like the, what's going on in the world's like under, we're under attack. Um, and then as the days wore on, um, it was just an eerie feeling too, because there were days, there were no f airplanes in the air, so just that like s strange, odd, eerie sense over us. Um, and then just sadness for everyone who was involved and watching, um, like watching the rescues. So yeah, overwhelm, probably the biggest thing was overwhelm. Freshman class elections will be happening on Friday, September 22nd. Today through Wednesday, petitions and paperwork for those who want to run will be available via posters around school and on the counseling desk in front of Miss Landis's office. The self-care club meets today in T2. Stop by for manicures and face masks. With morning announcements, I'm Lucas Ginder.